Hi everyone, welcome to the Talks with the Networks. Today we have Chris. He's the Managing Director of the Neptune Network. Come and join me for a coffee with him and learn more about Neptune. Hi, I'm Xavi. I'm a freight forwarder based in China. Join me as I share with you my friends in the forwarding industry, stories and experiences of my 10 years of logistics in Europe and China. How are you, Chris? I'm good. Thank you very much, Savi. Everything okay for yourself? Everything good? Everything okay. Thank you for, for being uh, with the talks and having uh, your time. As you know, um, we are interviewing six networks and we are doing six questions within the six minutes. Anyways, uh, we have time always uh, to know more. Just uh, to, to get into that, um, Chris, tell me where is uh, Neptune uh, located and, and who, is, who is behind Neptune? Okay, so uh, basically uh, Neptune is a three-year-old, three, four-year-old three, four company. Um, it's a brand under uh, RW Solutions. Uh, our company is registered now already for um, 20 years in Hong Kong. Uh, we decided to uh, register in Hong Kong because during that time, my business partner, Niels, was staying there. He was uh, busy with his trading business, whereas I was a freight forwarder during that time. So, um, yeah, we set up the company in Hong Kong as a side business first and uh, we grew the business from there onwards and then decided to go full time into that uh, a little bit later. Right. But uh, Neptune itself as a as a network, it's fairly it's a fairly um, young network. And what the network is all about is it's um, it's connecting a global or let me say, it's connecting independent uh, consolidators worldwide to form a global network of, of consolidators, uh, mainly into sea freight consolidation uh, to work with each other. Um, yeah, so the reason why we came up with this is because we realized that um, there was uh, no network that was specific in this field. So we then decided to form this um, around four years ago and um, yeah, we're happy to say that the network is strong and established in the meantime. And uh, the last time we had a, a conference, we had around 230 uh, consolidators that were present. So um, yeah, we're, we're, we're quite happy with this development and we wish to obviously uh, continue this into the future, right? <laughs> wow, sounds, uh, sounds interesting, uh, Chris, I understand that Neptune is under, under the umbrellas, as you commented, of uh, RW um, yeah. with uh, different, different networks. Just the, the second question was a little bit born, uh, a little bit on why was, you know, when you started the journey, of course, let's say four years ago and why it was born. I understand that, that you guys saw uh, a niche uh, on that. Uh, why, why, why Neptune? Why is ne why Neptune born four years ago and and maybe didn't do it, let's say, ten years ago? Why? What, what make you make this step to 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 set up? Well, you know, we actually have our flagship network called the CLN, the Combined Logistics Networks. We were. Um, we were developing that over many years. We tried to do different kinds of networks also because it was getting full during that time. And then we, uh, we realized that uh, if we do something new, then we might as well do something which is different, right? Not the same. And uh, we realized that um, there was no independent um, LCL network out there. And um, one of our uh, close friends, Andrew, suggested for us to um, to put up a network, and he had the initial uh, um, he had the initial community that was was willing to uh, to join on board and and establish the network as, as let me say founding members. And with that, uh, we saw this as an opportunity to then um, to then grow this concept and to develop the community around it. So, I would say it was an opportunity for us. Um, it was an opportunity for us that was uh, initiated by one of our close friends 
And we then took that concept and, and tried to, to grow this concept uh, into a, a larger network, basically. Right? So, um, yeah, I wouldn't be able to answer exactly why, why we uh, set this up four years ago, but it was really out of opportunity, I would say, right? And we took this opportunity and we then uh, developed it, right? <laughs> right, right, uh, Chris. Nice, uh, nice. I, I see that you guys uh, make things uh, happen. Uh, nice, nice to know that you guys did it uh, recently, and and we, we can enjoy uh, Neptune in, in the market. But I seen, I've seen. Just correct me, uh, Chris. I've seen that uh, nowadays Neptune, it's more or less representing i would say like more than 60 countries uh, you guys have more than 150 180 members and yeah, that's correct yeah. and why why are those members uh, joining uh, neptune why why okay um neptune is very specific in the wholesale um aspect of lcl so when you're a whole when you're a wholesale consolidator, uh, you would want to definitely work with other wholesale consolidators worldwide, and that is because you want to maintain a neutrality position towards the the market, right? So you as a wholesaler, your your customers are are freight forwarders, right? And these freight forwarders want to definitely know that you're you're working with partners that will not approach their customers, right? I see. So as a as a wholesale uh, consolidator, uh, neutrality is very, very important. And this is something that we profile in our agency list uh, to make clear that, um, you know, which consolidator is strictly neutral and which, let me say, LCL forwarder is approaching uh, the shippers and the consignees, right? So, I see. Um, so the freight forwarders like to hear that, of course, and they, they like to make sure that uh, uh, when you're a consolidator, that you're working with other consolidators that are neutrally oriented and therefore their business is protected. And they also know that uh, they, their customers will not be approached. Right? So nice. um, yeah, that's one of the unique aspects of, of Neptune Cargo Network uh, that, that we are um, a lot of a lot of our consolidators uh, see this as very important to maintain a neutral position towards the market and um, yeah and that's one of the unique features of, of Neptune I would say. <laughs> right Chris and let me go to the fourth question which uh, I will ask you to be more precise and, and if I ask you uh, Chris if I ask you one word uh, one noun one adjective uh, one sentence that describes the most uh, Neptune, which one would it be? Uh, for one, if I would say one sentence, if I would describe Neptune as one sentence, we are the best NVOCC alliance in the world. Uh, because uh, we don't really uh, have much competition in this field. And if you're a consolidator, then uh, we, I would say that we are the go-to network as a consolidator, right? So at this point, uh, we have the most coverage, we have the most uh, members. So naturally, a lot of the uh, consolidators are coming to us. So yeah, I would say we're the best NVOCC network out there in the world. Very, very nice. Makes, uh, makes sense, uh, Chris, uh, behind the, the idea that you are explaining. Let me go to the fifth one, which is a bit more tricky, uh, something that uh, the forwarders or in, in your case of course the NVOCCs might care about also it's about payment protection and credit terms right uh, while payment protection is the ability to get the money back for those services and uh, credit terms is how long are, how long it's going to to happen until get the money how does Neptune cope and, and work towards that with uh, is there any special uh, rule on that any guidelines how 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 do you deal briefly with uh, payment protection and and credit terms yes okay so um in our payment protection we have 
two kinds of measures. One is the preventive measure and the other one is the corrective measure. Let me talk about the preventive measures that we have. Um, first of all, before you're able to join the network, we have a screening process where we do some background checking on, um, on the members. So we check if they have a fraudulent background. Uh, we also check online if, if they have any history of, you know, of having um, unpaid bills with, with other uh, freight forwarding companies. We have certain channels where we can check. Um, another uh, preventive measure that we have is that we release our agency list once a month with uh, payment security badges. So you're basically color coded um, a certain color if you're not paying on time so that members are immediately aware of, of any uh, payment delays within the network. This is sort of a, um, yeah, I would say a payment protection for, for the members. Sure. So once a month we release this and uh, it's very good to have that visibility also. Um, also, when every member joins us, we ask them to uh, submit their referrals. So we would like to check if they have any active members that they've been working with um, for a certain period of time to be able to establish that they are a serious operator also. So I would say on the screening side, that is our, our preventive uh, measure. But then, you know, you cannot avoid any situation that uh, a member will not pay another member. Sometimes that happens, of course. Um, so we have a payment protection there in place, or let me say a, a payment insurance in place, wherein we guarantee um, payments within the uh, network up to a certain amount, which we graduate over, over the... Um, uh, over the stay of the members. So if you're one to three years in the network, you have a certain coverage. When you then um, graduate from three years old up to five years old, we then have a larger coverage I and see. so on, right? So yeah, like this, we are able to, let me say, uh, secure the payables of our uh, members, but also the, uh, we graduate our coverage uh, the longer the the company stays with uh, with Neptune, right? Sure, sure. What about what about the credit terms? Does does uh, what is the standard for the market? Would you say it's uh, we go for thirty days, sixty days? Is there any, is there any guideline from Neptune uh, towards the towards the members, or it's free? How how how, how does it go? Well. Definitely, um, what we would recommend, uh, our network recommends the credit line. We don't impose credit lines to, towards our uh, members. We recommend a 30-day credit line amongst the members. But of course, the members are there to decide for themselves how much um, credit they would like to provide to, uh, to the other members, right? Uh, most of the time, because of the network association, uh, members do provide each other credit. Uh, because there is some trust there that we establish as, as networks amongst the members makes it easier for, for them to work with each other and, and to get shipments to, to move as soon as possible before, you know, negotiating the credit lines, right? You don't want to be stuck with a shipment and then later on try to figure out the credit line to, uh, to give each other um, a network, I would say, uh, bridges that trust and allows you to work directly uh, and immediately with each other. Sure, very, very clear, Chris. Uh, very clear. As I understand, of course, that uh, the, the the payment protection go along of the seniority of, of the membership. As as long as, as as you stay in the network, more payment protection you might have, and and of course the, the freedom for for the credit terms. But yeah, that's a small part of of the networks. And and just going to the last one, uh, Chris. 2020 has been, you know, uh, quite different for all of us. What, uh, what are the plans? What are the plans? Uh, I know that you might launch, you, you are going to launch in a couple of months, uh, the fourth uh, virtual meeting of Neptune. But uh, what are the plans of Neptune for, for, 2000, uh, yeah, for 2021? And how are you guys adapting into the new, this new situation? 
Well, to be honest, I, I really believe that 2021 will look very, very similar to 2020. Uh, unfortunately, right? We're all with just waiting for the vaccine to come out. And that will take longer than, than expected uh, on a global basis, right? You might have some countries that are very progressive, but the rest of the world will still need to catch up this year, right? So I would say uh, we would be back to to being able to move around the world freely in 2022 only. And that's when we can start shaking hands. But in the meantime, um, what we're doing is we're developing our uh, network also more virtually. So our conferences are being held virtually. Um, we also invite our leads to, to meet each other on a virtual basis to network with each other for them to get familiar with, with who we are and what, what value we, we provide to them. And to experience that, I think um, this year is the, is the year for that, right? Um, what else can I say? Another thing that we're doing digitally is our agency list. So uh, we're making our agency list agency list available in our mobile phones and on the desktop. So we're doing we're trying to develop our agency list and and um, sorry, let me repeat that. <laughs> uh, we're trying to develop our agency list to be uh, available online uh, on the desktop as well as the mobile phone for uh, for members to um, to be able to reach each other faster and it will also act like a like a social media so everyone can update each other there right um i would say yeah i mean if you're an active businessman in 2021 then you're looking out to to doing things more digitally right sure and uh, yeah i would say that's that's our development Wow. Of course, of course, we want to grow the network. That's that's clear, right? Yes, yes, Chris. So, Chris, um, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much for your time. Um, it has been a pleasure. Very nice uh, knowing more about Neptune. Uh, I would say uh, I would understand Neptune as a very niche network uh, within the LCL and FCL consolidators um, and VOCCs. Of course, uh, based on neutrality, as as as. As you say, I, I see I see in Neptune a, a young and, and strong uh, network that the, that you guys are 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 are, are building uh, very much into the digital yeah. e uh, era on the on the on the new times, uh, and I really think it's a, it's it's a very very nice network to join uh, and very niche. If you, if you as a forwarder, uh, one of your core business, it's it's the consolidation, right? Chris, okay. thank you very much for your time. It was really nice uh, to having you on the talks uh, with Network and just to allow us to learn more about uh, Neptune. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you, thank you very much. I, I think this is a great initiative of yours. And I hope you continue this also. And uh, thank you very much for your time too.